to you about the sponsor of today's vlog, Becky Booty Scrub. Now, what's better than a smooth booty? I don't know. I want a smooth booty. You want a smooth booty. We all want a smooth booty. It is our booty's time to shine, am I right? So definitely check out this product. I have been loving it. I just take it in the shower with me. It's this scrub here, and then you get some water on it and uh, scrub it on your butt. You can also use it on other areas of your body too, but this product is made for a smoother, softer, better looking butt, and it is really awesome. It has antioxidants and essential fatty acids in there that are great for getting rid of cellulite, stretch marks, pimples, just make your skin softer overall. And it also is fragrance-free, free of parabens and phthalates, and it's also vegan and cruelty-free. And this company is awesome because they donate some of their profits to women's charities. So that it is great for helping out women and empowering women. So you guys should definitely check it out. I love this product. There is going to be a link in the description below along with a discount code. Becky Booty Scrub, get that booty nice and soft. <laughs> So today I'm back at Beautiful by Nala. My friend Nala is going to do another photo facial on me. You might be able to tell on camera that I have a little bit of redness here, so I really wanna clear that up. Um, there's a full video where I show the whole process and like give my, my opinions and talk about my experience more. So this is um, a follow-up. And then in my future videos, like when we're doing a full-blown new treatment, I'll show you step by step by step so this is just gonna be a short little thing Nala is back there hey. in the corner setting up the uh, photo facial machine for me right now so you know I get like a couple little red dots on my cheeks and I was reading about it and it said that people who live in cold weather states are more prone to having this happen because when you go outside in the cold and then you it, when you go outside in the cold, it forces your blood vessels to shrink and then when you walk into a, a warm room They expand and then your blood vessels like pop a little bit under the skin So I have a couple here. We're gonna zip zip zippity zap them out <laughs> It's so comfy because I have the blanket and everything. I hope I sounded okay <laughs> in my little intro guys I wanted to do it quickly because uh, I have to go pick up my my kid later, so I didn't want to spend too much time like thinking about what I'm trying to say, but you got the gist of it. I might have sounded like a spaz though. Oh, I look shiny. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be on it? Or oh, no? too late. <laughs> so here's this guy right here, ready to zap my skin damage off. I'm sure this is a very flattering angle of me, like the the up face shot. But yeah, we were we were gonna stop and like film a tiny bit of it so that you could see the, the laser on it again, but we just were on a roll. We, by we I mean My Bala. <laughs> My bad. Well, no, it's just, yeah, it just didn't happen. But it's all done now and she's just putting some lotion on my face. Moisturizer. Moisturizer. I might look a little neck. bit red, but that is completely mm, normal after bad. this. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. You're right into here. This mm -hmm. guy here too. Yeah. But that usually Your only lasts bigger, for a couple sure. hours. Bigger. <laughs> we grew my we grew my nose. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? I'm Are you helping me clean? Yeah. Wow, that's so nice of you. <laughs> yeah, that's where it goes, right in the trash can. Good job, helper. Thank you so much, Iris. You use the room I use the Yeah, I use the big broom and you use the little one. Very good, I <laughs> get the fireplace. All right. Top to bottom, huh? So hey, what's going on, guys? We're gonna say it together? <laughs> so I guess with everything going on in the world, you, you don't even know what I'm going to say. You don't even know what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you cracked me up. So I guess we're kind of in quarantine we're right of, now. Quarantine right now. I mean, not really. Not really. Just when we're home. Just when we're home. 
<laughs> you are so silly. I love hanging out with you. You crack me up, girl. <laughs> so what did you uh, want to do? Uh, we're going to make, we can either draw a tight or make a tight. So we're going to draw a make a tight. Kite. Kite, she's talking about. You want to draw a kite? Make a tight. Make a kite. Okay. Because we have all this stuff for a tight. We need a piece of paper and some string. Okay. And some scissors. Do you know where that is? Yep. All that stuff is. So what I was going to say is my dad came over here yesterday and today. Um, as you guys know, my dad is a retired colonel, so with everything going on in the news, with the coronavirus and stuff, he really, really wants me to be prepared, which my dad is the absolute sweetest. So he went to the grocery stores and brought over so many groceries. Like my fridge is completely full, my freezer is full, I have a bunch of non-perishables, but my dad wanted to make sure that um, if it came down to it, I wouldn't have to leave my house for a really long time. So this is probably gonna drive OCD people crazy. I still have to go in there and organize everything, but it's like this is all filled with meat. He brought over like pork chops and chicken. Like here's a big thing of chicken right here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I think maybe you went a little overboard, Dad. But I guess it's good to be prepared. Freezer is completely full. Oh, and look here, we got some pastries, some fresh fruit, and, whoa, a whistle. And I still gotta find room for all these peppers. And there's some potatoes in there, those can go in the pantry. I was not expecting him to bring over so many groceries. That was really nice of him though, and he also got uh, toilet paper. He was able to find some toilet paper since so many places have been running low on that, so. Got a little bit of that stocked up too. My dad said he's more worried about, you know, people panicking. Um, and then, you know, he's gonna try to keep to himself a lot because he's older. You know, my dad is 83. So we'll see each other here and there, but my dad's gonna just practice safety, avoid large crowds and stay at home as much as possible. But he said he like, he'll venture out here and there like now early on and, um, he tries to go out early in the morning when there aren't as many crowds. So Iris has been over here doing her kite. How's your kite coming along? Good. Oh, that's really beautiful. She's got an arm tattoo also. Yeah, I just draw it. Uh-huh, I see that, sneaky. Hey, here's my kite all done. I love it. It has some swirls on it and some polka dots. Yeah, it's very pretty. Now we are gonna go outside and let it fly. Are we? Yeah. Okay. Simon B. I have two tights. I have two tights. You have two? Yeah, they're the same size. Oh, cool. There's a rat out. Oh, where did that come from? <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Fearless rat warrior over here. All right, I think you got it. <laughs> I think we're good, I. All right, so we're gonna fly our kites. Look at it go! Woo! It is kind of windy out. I didn't even really notice. Look at the kite go. <laughs> Let's see yours. Aren't you gonna hold it up? Whoa, it's like a twirly one. It's twirling. Good idea, Iris. You've thought of a fun activity for us to do together. Flying a kite and driving at the same time? I'm not sure if that's legal. So right now I'm in the middle of a photo shoot with Erin. She is an earring designer with called Hookie by Erin. Yes. They're beautiful, they're really fun, they're funky. And I'm modeling some earrings today. Changing up different outfits and <laughs> it's a lot of fun. A photographer so fun. right here. Yeah, it's exciting. It's beautiful, fun to work with, easy to work with. Thank so, you. Loving this. We've got flowers, beautiful outfits, and light. And good lighting. I'm so. having a great time also, so thank you so much. In the coronavirus, we don't care about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all, it's all about that right now. We're, it's a small amount of us, and we're good. Right. Happy well, and healthy. You still gotta sell earrings during the coronavirus. You do. It's, we do. Earrings don't take breaks. No, they don't. Cookie <laughs> by earrings. Right. <laughs> I actually, 
I love this color here. We were taking some photos next to this in my, my pink dress that I have on and I'm loving it. I was just complimenting. I turned on my camera and I see the, li I see the lighting here and I'm like, whoa, this is actually really good lighting. Mm -hmm. I like it. And this is the best room. Mm -hmm. The kitchen, natural light where the deck comes in and I painted that actually. My friend, it used to just be wood or maybe plywood, fake wood. And I'm like, oh, oh this is just paint. Yeah, I'm like, we need some turquoise. So, mm -hmm. big fan of turquoise. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this. I'm excited. I get to keep some of these photos for my Instagram too. Be on the lookout. All right, so we're changing locations to this red chair here. I just got home from my shoot. She actually, she let me keep this headband. She just thought that it looked good with this outfit. She's like, you can keep that if you want it. And I got to pick out a pair of earrings to take home with me. And I ended up choosing these turquoise beaded ones. These were actually the last ones that I shot. And I was like, oh, because I couldn't choose which ones I wanted to take home. And then I thought these would probably go with the most outfits and be the most versatile. So I chose these. You guys should definitely check her out. Her stuff is sold at I Like You in Minnesota. It's a boutique. It might start being sold at another boutique in Minnesota, and you can also buy them online. It's Hooky by Aaron. Um, yeah, so I'm starving right now. Oh, look at me. I really am a model. Just, that's a bad joke. Inappropriate. Sorry. Um, I'm going to eat. I'm about to stuff my face with some food right now with the, the many, many groceries that my dad left at my house. But... Um, yeah, the, I sort of ended up skipping lunch accidentally, so I'm starving now, and I think that's, that's what I need to do. That's what I need to prioritize right now. Some food in my face. Sustenance. I just made myself a chicken sandwich with goat cheese, lettuce, onion, didn't have tomato, and green pepper, and honey mustard. So I am getting my hair and makeup done right now. I love getting my hair and makeup done. It, I don't know, it's really relaxing. I was falling asleep, sort of. Uh, I'm doing a shoot today with my friend Shannon who does my eyelashes. She's doing a promo video for her website and so we have a hair and makeup artist today which is exciting. I'll probably get some cute pictures out of it too. And um, yeah, so first we're just doing the skin, no eye makeup, and then afterwards we're going to do eye makeup because we're going to get some shots with my eyelashes all done. But my eyelashes are going to... Get taped up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, for my eyelids are gonna get taped up when I get my eyelashes done, so it's kind of pointless to put eye makeup on. But it uh, it's gonna be a fun shoot today. And this is Rose doing my makeup. Hello. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry. You want to show me change your shirt? Huh? Shirt, shirt, I can't talk. <laughs> All right, so we just got done shooting, and I had some pizza. Shannon always is great about bringing the pizza for the end of the shoot. Um, yeah, so it was it was really cool to see the camera stuff. Like my skin is gonna look flawless. I got camera makeup done, and then they put like a filter thingy in front, and then I look like I'm in a skincare commercial or something. Not a pour on my face for how the actual video will turn out, which. Yeah, exciting stuff, and uh, we're all headed out now, breaking down the show. Hey, Anthony's packing up all his camera equipment. So I just got to April's house, decided to have some girl time tonight. I brought over some chicken, some sweet potatoes, and some bell peppers. We're gonna cook dinner and just kind of hang out and have a chill night. And April's baking an April, an April pie. It is an April pie. <laughs> it's an April apple pie. <laughs> it's, a, it's an April Dutch apple pie. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Doggies are here with me because I'm gonna stay the night here tonight. And that right dog goes, oh, Harmony and Lola. So cute. That pie smells so good, April. It's gonna be all ocean. Yeah, yeah. So I think some girl time is needed. It's kind of a, a bummer. It's like scary to, to go out and do something. Like since I, I got my, my makeup done, I kind of want to like go out and see people, but then it's like, oh yeah, can't really do that right now. I mean, you can, some people are, but still. Are you keeping inside for the most part? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I don't know. It's all just like, it's difficult. Yeah, it's a difficult time. My my opinion's a little difficult on it, too. Yeah? Yeah. 
like how much of it is scare tactics and how much of it is like real right life stuff like you know mm -hmm. yeah i hear ya like, there's so many other things that like take people out every day mm -hmm. and like you know heart disease being one of them and people still go to mcdonald's every day mm -hmm. like, keep going to mcdonald's there are 1300 people in the u.s die from heart disease and every single day every single day huh every single day crazy right yeah I just that is I, crazy I just yeah yeah I think everybody should start having big events again and living their lives so that my job continues yeah no i hear that like that's something that i feel a lot for the people whose jobs are being affected because of what's going on right now um i'm kind of like better safe than sorry i'm not panicking over it because um, i know like when you're young and healthy cases are usually mild but uh still it's like i think we all got to do our part to help it not become a a bigger and bigger problem especially for the people who do have pre-existing con uh, pre conditions so yeah i don't i'm just being better safe than sorry like i do have some food i can stay at home if i if i need to i'm just gonna keep an eye on things and uh, we can just have bestie time yeah that's true mm -hmm. like i mean there's really only a, like less than a handful of people i care to spend time with anyways so. <laughs> yeah there we go so we're just gonna have a fun night like hanging out eat some good food right harmony have, chill have a romantic dinner hey it's all girls here it is it is, it is like totally a girls night it's always all girls here <laughs> yeah <laughs> when is it not all girls here well i just meant that my dogs are girls too yeah yeah at your house you've got simon I guess. yes you've i have one boy, boy. Uh, my, my baby boy, my baby boobers. Okay, so we're gonna cook up this big plate of barbecue seasoned chicken. Got some sweet potatoes and the peppers here. Yeah, we'll probably um, down this all, just the two of us tonight at one sitting for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, probably actually. <laughs> what else is there to do? And Stay you know, inside and eat and eat and eat. I know, I'm like, I'm gonna turn into a fat, so I was like, I need to like, Today I was I did a little bit of a workout like mm -hmm. in my living room like some yoga and stuff but I was like I need to do like a full at home workout because I like a lot of YouTube workouts. Well, I have so, my Peloton app. Oh yeah, you do do that. So there's lots of workouts on there too, and then I have this other like fitness for women app. Oh okay. And there's like all these different type you can like choose what type of workout you want like a full body legs butt arms stomach oh, nice. whatever. So that one's really good too. Mm -hmm. And you can like do like a combination. So maybe maybe tonight we'll, we'll do something. Yeah, we could do that. I like a lot of um, Pilates, yoga, fusion type workouts. So I do a lot of my workouts at home anyway. So yeah, yeah I'm, I'm fine with that versus going to the gym. You know, the gym's nice every once in a while, but that's not like a huge um, yeah. issue for me. But I'm, I'm excited to be with you. Me I missed too. you. I know. We, I was we like, kind of bonked. I know. We bonked there. I was getting, um, I was getting, I was starting to get lonely. I've like been by myself for over 24 hours and I, I was know. like. I know, it's hard when we don't see each other. I know. It's, yeah. I know. It's weird. Not yeah. used to it. My mom said something funny the other day. I was talking about hanging out with another one of my friends mm -hmm. and my mom goes, oh, you have other friends? I thought you only hang out with April. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, basically, but. Mm -hmm. I do have, I have other friends You do, too. you have probably more other friends than I have No, other you're, friends. you're so popular, April. I uh, well, don't even talk like, it's like we turn into <laughs> Regina George. No, yeah. like, you're like really popular. Like I, super duper popular. I mean, like I am popular, <laughs> but a lot of my friends are in California still. Yeah. I do have a lot of friends here, but like not really in the city though. Mm -hmm. Like I've got like a few friends in the city, but for the most part, like all of them are back in my Cal hometown, California or Fairbo. Okay. Because yeah. I never, like, I haven't really, like, We have, like, a super deep bond. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, there's a preference. <laughs> like, there's, like, a level of preference for hangout. Mm. When you're, like, here. And then, like... You're gonna hurt other Everybody people's else feelings. Is Your skin like looks really too. nice. Did you do a mask or something? Um, no, I got like a little facial. Thing. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, you look like you got a facial. Um, my skin's super dry though, still. And like, mine is a I little had, bit like, too from my facial. I had a couple of like little like breakouts that happened down here from it. 
Oh, I got, I did some cupping today. Yeah, I saw that on your yes. Instagram. But it's, um, I don't know if that's normal. Like my shoulders are getting weak holding up my camera. Oh, Is that normal like, from cupping? Because probably. it's like sucked some stuff out. Well, and like your muscles are probably just like. Kind of like getting a massage, how it, you can it's, be like, it's sore like a super afterwards. deep massage, is basically okay. what it is. I saw that you did like the regular suction or did those like suctiony ones, which I don't like very much. I like the fire cups. That was cups. my first time yeah, doing it. I do fire cups. Okay. So I've they, never had it like. Yeah. So yes. I've done both. I have to keep switching my arms. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my shoulders. They can't hold the weight of my camera. I've done both though. So I've done both the suction ones and then, but my preference is fire. So they take like a glass cup. I've seen, I've seen videos of it. They throw like a fire in it and then they like put it down on your skin and then the oxygen. Oh cool. Like well, the lack of oxygen from the fire like pulls. I need to try that sometime. Oh my God, it's my favorite. Oh, I scratched my arm again. You know what else was canceled? What? Other than my whole life. What? Acupuncture. Oh. I was supposed to go on Friday and then he, or on Thursday, but he wasn't feeling well, so he canceled his appointment. And then I made an appointment for Monday, tomorrow. And he texted me today and said he does not want to make his office a petri dish of sickness. Yeah, so a lot of people. He has to canceled for at least the next week. See so, yeah. We'll have to give each other back massages. Mike, can you just stab <laughs> a bunch of sewing needles into me? Is I'll that the that. same thing? Yes, I can do that. And then I'll like just try and like push the pins on fire and then like <laughs> uh, third degree burns probably, but it's cool. Hi, I'm Dr. Nikki. <laughs> Whoa, that looks so good. Nicely plated, April. Thanks. You're like a professional chef. I know. This is fancy looking, isn't it guys? We got the fancy napkins and everything. Well, with our dinner, I am going to end today's vlog and we're just gonna chill, watch a movie. I'm gonna use her computer and edit tonight. So thank you guys so, oh, I got a placemat. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I really appreciate it. I hope you guys all stay safe and healthy out there. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. Ha, ha, ha.